This is how I made the buzz wire game for a party rental business. First I went to Home Depot and picked up some steel wire. Next I went ahead and made this box using some plywood. First I went ahead and cut everything to the size that I needed to be. Then I went ahead and glued on the sides. These are just four inch strips of the same plywood. Here I'm just sanding the rough edges. Next I curled the wire at the base. That's where I'm going to bolt it to the wood. And then I went ahead and just bent the wire into some random pattern. Here I'm just using some gray primer since I'm going to be painting this red. And here's some copper wire that I had laying around which I'm going to use for the handle. Now after bending it into the shape that I want it to be, I clipped the end and then just glued it to this wooden dowel. And here's the wire that I'm going to be attaching to the battery pack. So I just wrap it around the copper wire a couple of times. And then I use some electrical tape just to wrap it around the handle. Now that the primer's dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my first coat of paint. And I usually end up doing two coats just to give it a durable finish. Now here's the active buzzer that I got off Amazon. And here's the 9 volt battery pack that I'm going to be using. Now this battery pack has an on and off switch so it won't drain the battery. At first I was going to put the buzzer on top, but then I decided to put it on the side just to give it a little bit more protection. I'm just going to drill the hole for it and later on use some hot glue to put it in place. Now after testing the buzzer and making sure everything works, I went ahead and soldered all the wires together. Now it looks more difficult than what it really is, but you just take the positive wire from the battery pack and attach it to the positive wire of the buzzer. Next you take the negative wire from the battery pack and attach it to your handle. Then this is a separate wire that goes from your steel rod to the negative pole of your buzzer. And then once I had everything connected, I just took some Velcro and attached the battery pack. And then to protect the wires, I just took a hot glue gun and glued everything down just to prevent it from getting tangled up. Now one thing I forgot to do is add a start and stop point. But it wasn't a big deal, I just used some electrical tape to break the current. I really want to use some plastic tubing, but this will do. 